Greetings freaks and folks, this is Vlad the Lad, and we have nine new cards for today's reveal. I'm super excited, let's go. I was just done recording another special video for you guys. If you want to see that, you should stick to the channel and subscribe. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, I was just ending my recording session and I uh, yeah, saw it's already after 6 p.m. CET and we have new cards. So let's dive right into this. We start with, it's reaction by the way, I didn't saw the, the cards before. A two mana boom baboon. <laughs> I already love the name. It's a 3-1 body for 2 mana. It's quite understood. It. And it says, when I'm summoned, create a flame chambers in hand. Ooh. Wait. A flame chambers. That's the 0-2 the with challenger that you can summon when, when you discard it. That's insane. Oh, I, I love it. And especially the stat line is very, very good for this unit. You don't go down in card advantage, and you have a 3-1 body with it. That's just perfect. I don't know if it does make the cut in a discard aggro deck though, the one with Jinx and Draven. I think it's almost perfect to an extent, but they these build, builds will definitely um, experiment with that, for sure. Alright, then we have the glorious evolution, <laughs> and there is, of course, Victor in the, in the picture, and it's a 10 mana slow speed spell. So we have to compare it to things like Ruination or Singular Will, I think is the other card from Ionia. And it says, replace your cards everywhere with exact copies of themselves. They have minus one cost, augment, and they are now tech. What? The actual fuck. <laughs> oh. And this is the moment where I don't know why they released cards beforehand. And I'm talking about this one mana, one three, that um, take cards in the future or all that are summoned afterwards share the keywords. I will have it here. I don't know the name right now. I think it was a bot number X, Y, Z. And now if you play this card, and then the one man, one drop, you will actually share all the keywords with everything. So it's sort of a Zoe leveled up version for everything. Plus, they all cost one mana less and they have augment. I guess this will be a meme most of the time because you don't with, with that you have no or you have very low control potential with P and Z. And also you have no healing. So P and Z is almost the worst region where you want to have a two mana spell a uh, 10 mana spell but uh, i will experiment with that for sure and join the glorious evolution then we have shifting sands which is a six mana slow speed spell <laughs> why all these high cost slow speed spell for shurima and it says deal four to units summon two sand soldiers why <laughs> sorry this is just bad like even if it would be fast speed I don't know if I would play this. I mean, six mana for dealing four damage and then summoning two sand soldiers. What, what, what is the impact of this card for six mana? I mean, for one mana more, you have atrocity, for example, or old atrocity for for six mana, right? Um, yeah, I, I don't see this being any good. Maybe it's good in a sense that you have more options for the sand soldiers archetype if you only build around sand soldiers, because I think this is close to being viable, but. I don't know. I don't see this being any good. Okay, we move on to Treasure Seeker, which is a one mana 2-1. And it says, when I'm summoned, create a Waking Sense in hand. Wait, what, what was Waking Sense again? Oh, it's a two mana slow speed. Yeah, way of summon a 5-2 ephemeral. Huh, is that any good? Probably not either, <laughs> because the card is just bad. But I guess in the future, if you want to run this card, you will run the Treasure Seeker instead of the Waking Sense. Is my my best guess because you don't go down in card advantage but you get a early body to one body um yeah i don't see this being any good either <laughs> because like waking sense is a 5-2 ephemeral you can block this with a 1-1 and that's it and that's two mana pretty much wasted most of the time but the fact that this is ephemeral makes it good for ephemeral decks so maybe treasure seeker finds a home there but other than that 
I don't see it. All right, then we have a five mana burst speed spell for Shurima. It's the time has come. It's summoning a clockling. That's always something very good if you have burst speed summoning any units. And it says if you have predicted this game, summon two instead. Huh. <laughs> I mean, would I even run this card if <laughs> if it doesn't didn't have the condition like just summoning two clocklings for five mana? I don't know. Like a clockling is just a, a two two. That 2 2 with nothing. So, this is good for open attacks, I guess, where you ha can do without passing initiative attack with two more 2 twos. And you can provide two block of four or five mana uh, at burst speed. So, this has some good implications, but other than that, it doesn't, doesn't have any synergy from what I can think of right now. So, yet again, I don't know if this is any good. So, none of these <laughs> releases so far were super crazy or anything so uh yeah let's let's see on here we have another very high cost landmark for bilgewater yet again another landmark it's the reverse row and it says when i count down summon the random one cost follower count down to grant one cost allies plus two plus one and fearsome Ooh, i think that's trash again <laughs> i'm sorry to be the, that negative this video but this card is not good. And the reason for that is you don't want to have one cost followers at turn 7. Where this goes off at the earliest would be turn 7 that you get this effect. And I tried these all in one drop decks so far and they were pretty bad. <laughs> Even though sometimes you can pull off the nuts hand and then you rush down the enemy. But then you are an aggro deck yet again. And a 5-mana landmark that goes uh, off in turn 7 isn't any good in aggro decks. So I will experiment with it for sure, because I love the archetype. And I had this deck for quite some time. I think this was one of the first decks that I came up with myself and uh, had decent success with it. So I definitely will give it a shot. But I don't see it any competitive. And then we have a 2-mana burst speed spell. Sounds better already. Line them up. It says summon a powder keg and create a knock him down in hand. A knock him down is a one mana slow speed spell. Deal one to anything. All right. How good is that? I think that's pretty decent. Like summoning a powder keg at burst speed can, can lead to some nutty things where the enemy taps out, for example. Like you put some damage spell on the, t on the stack. Then the enemy stops, uh, taps out with their mana. And they can't kill the keg that they potentially could kill. And then at burst speed you summon a powder keg. And all of a sudden this damage effect that you have will just burst for one damage on everything more. For example, I don't know, any AoE effects or something. So I, I could see in the, in the right deck. Like this is very versatile and this is also something I love. And to my eyes this is the first thing that could be... Close to being competitive. Let's go with that. I definitely will experiment with this in the future. Like with almost all the cards there are here, even though they have, most of them are bad. But I will try my best. Maybe I find a home for them. And last but not least, we do have the most adorable... <laughs> the most adorable card there is um, from this today's reveal. And it's the Volunteer Elmac and will definitely be the thumbnail for today's video. It's a 3-mana three 3-4, three, so pretty well set it. And it says, when I'm summoned, create a random Elmnock on top of the 6 cards of your deck. We have Elmnock support! <laughs> and all of a sudden, Troop of Elmnock gets way better, because Troop of Elmnock as well will search in the top 6 cards of your deck and will auto-spawn the Elmnock. Um, if you were playing <laughs> back in the times in a better, this this card was pretty nuts and uh, considered being toxic and being overpowered. So maybe we will see a time yet again where Elnax are overpowered. And also the Call of the Wild, where you search in the top four cards for any Elnax Poros and something else more that I forgot now. Uh, you will draw them right away. So it's a it's a double support in that sense, the vol volunteer Elnox, and it even curves pretty well with Elnox because there is no three drop Elnox. Um, I love it, and it's also a summon effect. So if you summon the volunteer Elnox together with the troop of Elnox, you will 
yet again create another Elnak on top of your six cards of your deck. Man, I love it. <laughs> I love that with this card package, they prove that they don't forget their old archetypes. And this is something where I have to say, right? Clap, clap. This makes me hopeful for the upcoming patch that they also will buff any very long forgotten cards like Scrapshot, <coughs> Sun Coast. <laughs> Unfortunately, they already said they don't, won't buff Sun Coast, <laughs> but time will tell. Maybe they will buff it in the future. So that's everything I've got for you today. Thanks for sticking around uh, with these nine new cards. Most of them, unfortunately, not so good. But as always, we will try to do our best to include them in any deck and we'll meme around with them. So if you're up to that, then stick to the channel with a subscription. And other than that, I'll see you there or in the next reaction video. Until then, you stay legendary. I'm let out.